CSIR net exam holds great significance for life science students aspiring to pursue research or lectureship in India. While CSIR net aspirants recognize the need to qualify for the exam, a limited number are familiar with the benefits of taking the CSIR net exam, the career opportunities available afterwards, and the subsequent steps post qualification. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanushri, and in this video, I'll be addressing the advantages of taking the CSNET exam and exploring career prospects following the exam. One of the benefit of qualifying CSNET exam is that you can attain a fellowship. Yes, you heard me right. Once you qualify CSIRNET, you can join as GRF, that is Junior Research Fellow, in any research project and get a fellowship of rupees 31,000 per month for a period of two years. On completion of two years as JRF, if registered for PhD, the fellowship will be upgraded to SRF. You can get a fellowship of rupees 35,000 per month for third and subsequent years. You can also avail HRA and contingency amount as per rules laid down by UDC. Another benefit of qualifying CSNET exam is that you can easily get into R&D. You can join top research laboratories in India using CSNET qualification and work under some prominent researchers and scientists. You can work on positions like Project Associate, Research Associate, Junior Research Fellow, Senior Research Fellow, Senior Project Fellow. Kindly note, salaries varies as per project and institute norms. You can also pursue PhD in India. Well, this might be the first motivation why a student prefer to clear CSNET exam, isn't it? All research universities and institutes, while selecting a candidate for their PhD program, prefers a student who has cleared his or her CSNET exam. As CSR qualified candidates comes with their own fellowship, Hence, a scientist will anytime prefer these profiles in comparison with the ones who doesn't clear CSRNet as a PhD student. Even the knowledge gained after studying for CSR exam also helps candidate to clear the interviews and conduct PhD with proper research approach. In fact, nowadays a lot of institutes and universities had made CSRNet qualification mandatory to even apply for PhD position. Hence. Overall, PhD without CSI net qualification is a big struggle in India. So, if you are planning to pursue PhD, then you must consider first clearing CSI net. If you qualify CSI net exam with good rank, then you can also apply for PhD and postdoc abroad. CSI net GRF qualification is widely recognized internationally. Many universities and research institutions abroad offer fellowships and scholarships to Indian students who have cleared this examination. Pursuing a PhD abroad provides exposure to global research practices and significantly enhances your academic profile. If you have passion to teach students, then after qualifying CSNNet, you can opt for assistant professor job at any university of your choice. A CSI net GRF qualification makes you eligible for faculty positions in universities and colleges across India. Many educational institutions value net GRF as a benchmark for selecting faculty members. Many a time MSc freshers complain about not getting job after completing masters. Masters in combination with CSNet qualification will make your CV stronger and will increase your chances of getting job as a fresher. After qualifying CSNet exam, you can apply in DRDO labs. DRDO recruits CSNet qualified candidates for a post of scientists and researchers in high profile research projects at various labs. Some of the labs you can see on your screen. Even many reputed lab and institutes like Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, 
National Botanical Research Institute, Translational Health Science and Technology Institute, Baba Atomic Research Center, International Crop Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics, Institute of Microbial Technology, National Environmental Engineering Research Institute, Central Power Research Institute, Metropolis Healthcare Limited, SRL Limited, Pathkind Diagnostics Private Limited, CSIR and DRDO give importance to CSI Net qualified candidates. You can apply for post of scientific officer in these labs and institutes. Scientific officer job profile mainly consists of a managerial role or making product in companies and scientific research domains. You can also work as scientific laboratory technician. Scientific laboratory technician work as a skilled worker having immense knowledge in diagnostic tests, mechanical aspects of instruments, cell biology, molecular biology and many more. Such job profile is present within biological, chemical, physical and public as well as private sectors. One can carry role like sampling, testing, measuring and analyzing related work in a scientific team. One can also work as a support staff the one who assist research analysts and guide them in their work. If you are not interested in pursuing PhD or working as lecturer after qualifying CSNET exam, no problem. You have an amazing option for starting your career by getting job in public sector, which is major benefit of writing CSNET exam. If you pass the CSNET exam, you will have the opportunity to get a public sector job. Many Indian government agencies are actively seeking individuals who have passed the CSI UDC net, like Hindustan Petroleum, Indian Oil Corporation Limited, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, National Thermal Power Corporation, Coal India Limited, Gas Authority of India Limited, and ONGC. In the corporate sector, renowned companies such as Sun Pharmaceuticals Industries Limited, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories Limited, Torrent Pharmaceuticals Limited, Alchem Laboratories Limited, CIPLA, and many more actively seek CSN Net qualified professionals in life sciences. These pharmaceuticals and biotechnology giants, mainly in cities like Bangalore and Hyderabad, provide lucrative career prospects for CSN Net qualifiers. Considering these cities, booming pharmaceutical and life science industries is crucial while exploring job opportunities after clearing CSNet exam. Even you can build a career after qualifying CSNet GRF exam in several organizations like ISRO, Indian Institute of Science Bangalore, Indian Veterinary Research Institute, Center for Studies in Social Sciences, Indian Agricultural Research Institute, Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Data Institute of Social Sciences, Department of Atomic Energy and Baba Atomic Research Center and many more. If you are already in research job working in lab, CSI Net qualification will help you in giving career a push. As per our internal survey, candidates who are already working as lecturer or as researcher post CSI Net qualification were able to explore more career opportunities in their organization. So qualifying CSNet exam increases your chances of getting a promotion in the organization, institute or lab you are working with. A CSNet GRF qualification also opens doors to science journalism and communication roles. So if you are passionate about writing and communicating scientific concepts, all you need is a CSNet qualification and an excellent writing skills. You can write a book, publish chapters in books, websites and scientific magazines. CSNet qualification will get you direct entry into high profile scientific writing posts which are often hired by MNC biopharma companies like Novo Nordics, Dr. Reddy's, Bharat Biotech, Biocon and many more. So get some masterpiece content ready, approach some co-authors, some good publishers and you are all set. Driven by talent and ambition, many individuals prefer entrepreneurship over traditional employment leading to rise of numerous startups.
Whether your passion lies in developing innovative enzymes, cutting-edge biotech equipment like microscopes, spectrophotometers, and PCR instruments, or offering services such as scientific data analysis and blood sample analysis, CSNet qualification can pave the way for a successful entrepreneurial career. You can set up your own research lab, innovate and make products that can help masses in terms of food, clothing, environment and much more. Even the Government of India through Department of Biotechnology has introduced transformative initiatives like BIRAC that is Biotechnology Industry Research Associate Council to nurture the next generation of leaders in the life science industry. Programs like Biotechnology Ignition Grant Scheme offering substantial funding of 50 million rupees empower entrepreneurs to turn their vision into reality. Various grants and schemes such as Small Business Industries, Research Initiative and the Biotechnology Industry Partnership Program supported by entities like Department of Science and Technology further bolster innovative ideas, fostering a culture of entrepreneurship. These initiatives fuel creativity and generate additional job opportunities for CSNet qualified individuals. All you need is a goal, plan and execution. So we just explored how CSNet qualifier gets a myriad of opportunities and growth in the career front. Just like that, on the personal front, once you qualify this exam, it purely boosts your confidence. And this big sense of achievement proves to be a driving force to progress knowledge-wise. As this exam is considered as one of the most crucial and golden steps in any life science student, qualifying it is equivalent to achieving a degree in life sciences. So, if you are planning a rewarding career in life science field, you must consider qualifying this examination with good rank. So, start preparing for CSNet exam as soon as possible and achieve the milestone at earliest. Thank you.